Alexa, play Phineas's EP. I don't have an Alexa. Let's get started. Hey, good morning. Hi, what's up? It's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. We are eating like Claudia's whiskey today. Which means that I'm gonna have the best day ever because she's like the quintessential symbol of like health and aesthetics Which is like everything I aspire to be plus she's globetrotting the world with Phineas and Billy like living her best freaking life And I'm so happy for her even though we have never met we have never spoken I wish her all the best so like any lifestyle LA based youtuber we are starting off the day with a wellness shot she makes her own I couldn't be bothered a little shake it I really like wellness shots I think that they're really delicious <laughs> maybe I spoke too soon bottoms up done Claudia drinks Celsius for caffeine I have never tried this flavor. I got the kiwi guava. I have tried Celsius before and I didn't love it, but I'm gonna have this pre-workout. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Um, this is supposed to help with energy, accelerate your metabolism, and helps you burn body fat, AKA caffeine. Um, but there is like B12 in here. So it offers more nutrients than a monster, but um, we'll see how this flavor tastes. Life hacks. To those of you who have acrylics, I can't open bottles with it, so I usually take one of these like scanner cards. You tuck the card under, and then you flip it up. And that's how you can open it. Oh, actually this flavor is so good. Whoa, okay, if you have tried Celsius and you didn't like it, like myself, try kiwi guava. I am so picky when it comes to like where I get my caffeine. This is really good. Okay, it is like 1 p.m. and I'm just having breakfast. I thought that I was going to work out before eating, which is why I waited so long, but I didn't. I actually just signed up for a hot yoga class at 5 p.m. So anyway, here's what I'm going to have. These are the ingredients that Claudia uses for her smoothies. She does use a different kind of protein, but I was not and am not sponsored by Care Of, so I'm using my own protein powder. And then this is pretty much everything that she uses with the exception of oat milk, but I don't have that, so I'm using almond. Anyway, we're gonna have protein powder, frozen blueberries, spinach, almond butter, a banana, and some almond milk. Time for a snack. I have this Harvest Spice Trek mix from Trader Joe's, but I know Claudia has almonds, so I'm gonna eat those. Also, trail mix is like something that I can't have in my house because I have no self-control and I eat like the whole freaking bag in like three days. I'm about to leave for hot yoga. Claudia does hot Pilates, but I've never done Pilates before. And I have a week long like free membership to hot eight yoga or hot yoga eight or something like that. And I've been really into it recently because I have been a ball of stress and I've been needing something to help me compartmentalize my stress and I found yoga to be super helpful. So if you guys are ever looking for something to help take your mind off whatever's bothering you, I really, really recommend yoga. And this is coming from someone that I freaking hate meditation. I hate when people tell me to listen to self-help books. Like I don't like any of that bullshit, but yoga, has been amazing for me because you're in this really hot room, you're just sweating everything out, and then you're in these really difficult positions, so you actually don't have the capacity to think about anything other than the movements that you're doing, otherwise you're gonna fall over. So it's really good if you are dealing with a bunch of stress or anxiety. It has helped me so much, and I feel like I walk out of the room and I'm able to really tackle a lot of the things that are bothering me because I feel a lot more centered. And that's my preaching moment, okay? I'm gonna be done after that, but seriously, it's been so helpful for me. And I don't know if I'm gonna end up signing up for a membership because it's pretty expensive. My boyfriend ended up getting one. So that's what's making me like really tempted. But right now, I'm just enjoying my free week. This is my like fourth class of the week, and I'm gonna go do it. And um, yeah, it's gonna be great. So that's my, that's my little two cents about yoga. 
I just got back from yoga, which is why I look a little crazy right now, but I'm going to make dinner and I'm so hungry and so excited about what we're gonna put together. Guys, we're going to be making vegan mac and cheese and then some broccoli on the side because I didn't really have like a lunch today. I just, I don't know. I had a really late start with eating apparently. So I would have had the broccoli for lunch because Claudia loves broccoli, but now I'm just gonna combine the two because I could use more vegetables. So anyway, um, we're gonna be making vegan mac and cheese and then broccoli. So for the vegan mac and cheese, you need chickpea pasta noodles. These are cavatappi noodles. I would have gotten the elbows, but they were out. Need some almond milk, breadcrumbs, nutritional yeast, vegan butter, and then cheddar and mozzarella cheese. And that's it. It's gonna be so easy to make. Holy crap, you guys, this looks freaking amazing. Wow. All right, guys, here's dinner. I've already eaten a little bit of broccoli and this mac and cheese is freaking amazing. So good. I just, I need to add a little bit of salt though and then I think I'm also gonna add some hot pepper flakes because it could use a little bit more pizzazz. But other than that, it's so freaking good. I did damage. <laughs> There's a good dent missing. Okay, well, to be fair, to be fair, I thought I was putting hot chili pepper on the first plate that you saw, but I accidentally put chili powder instead of like the red hot chili flakes. So I had to throw out the first plate that you saw, but then I had, I had like a total of those two plates. Anyway, it's just really good. I just recommend putting more salt and nutritional yeast on top. The dishwasher's running. I am going to watch a scary movie or something tonight. And that concludes eating like Claudia the whiskey today. Also, the broccoli that I made is like the best I've ever made before. I made it on the stove and then I put a little top over it so it was steaming. It was so good. But I really want chocolate. That always happens to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. So anyway, here we are, chocolate list, it's fine. Alexa, stream Phineas's EP. I still don't have an Alexa. Okay guys, that is it. If you wanted to tag Claudia on Twitter and tell her that I made this, that'd be so freaking dope. Um, if not, then she'll never see this and that's totally fine too. Um, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, turn on that bell, all that good stuff. And as always, comment down below who you want me to eat like next because I will do it. I will do it.